Update 7 on Typhoon Null, Philippine name Dodong. It's now a Super Typhoon Category 5 with winds of 160 miles per hour and a pressure of 918 millibars. Position 17 degrees north, 123.3 degrees east. This is a very dangerous storm as of 2 a.m. UTC May the 10th. The storms are expected to move towards the northwest, grazing the east coast of uh, northeastern Luzon, that is, um, passing as a Category 5 storm and gradually weakening by the looks of things over the next few days. By the time it reaches the Japanese islands, it will still be a typhoon, uh, though will probably be a much weaker one and will be barely a tropical storm by the time it reaches the Tokyo area, which is likely to pass just to the south of. Right now, the main threat is with the Philippines, obviously. The storm is just uh, a few dozen miles off the east coast of Luzon. At its current wind speed and air pressure, a very dangerous situation. Signal 3 warnings in effect for most of the Cagayan Valley and the Calayan group of islands. Signal 2 warnings in effect further north in Batanz and further south as well um, for some other areas. And signal 1 warnings in effect for um, pretty much the uh, whole northern part of Luz on signal 1 warnings or higher. That's as of May the 10th at 10 a.m. local time. Obviously the northeastern area is the bit we're most concerned about. Very strong winds and probably heavy rainfall there as well. Sea surface temperatures remain fairly warm around the storm at this time. Around 29 degrees Celsius, maybe 28, but certainly warm enough uh, for sustained development. Obviously land interaction is probably going to begin to weaken the storm now. As might wind shear over the next few hours or days, uh, certainly higher amounts in the north and that's increasing around Taiwan and beyond. As of right now, it's not looking all too bad. And looking at the water vapor imagery, dry air on both sides of the storm, but not anywhere near the central part of the storm, which means that it certainly has the ability to retain its strength at least for a few more hours until it gets ever closer to making a possible landfall. And you can see how the eye has progressed in the latest satellite imagery. And look how well defined it is as well with that um, donut shape around the eye and the western side appears to be just about the stronger in the uh, latest frames. Now obviously that's bad news for the northeastern part of Luzon. They'll be experiencing the eye wall by the looks of things of what is a category 5 storm on the Sapphire Simpson hurricane wind scale. Wind speeds there I'd expect would reach category 5 force in some places quite possibly. There's the latest in Mawari imagery as well. Let me also mention that wind gusts may possibly be up to 190 or 195 miles per hour. Very strong indeed. Glitching up at the end there but you can still see the general gist of where the um, the storm's been, how the storm's been progressing in the um, past few hours. Of course, this isn't, isn't the only thing that's going on, but it is the most concerning. As of May the 10th at 2 a.m., we also have Tropical Storm Anna, which is headed for North Carolina now by the looks of things. A landfall there seems likely in the next 12 hours. We also have Tropical Storm Dolphin, which has sparked Tropical Storm warnings and Typhoon watches in effect for Micronesia also. 29 tropical storms have formed so far in 2015 worldwide. 17 have gone on to become Category 1 hurricanes or their equivalents around the world with winds of 74 miles per hour plus. And 11 have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour or higher. Of course, Noel is one of those and is the second Category 5 storm of the 2015 typhoon season. You can follow Force 13 on any of our outlets. The website force13.com is under renovation at the moment, but it's still online. You can visit it. You can we, you can also find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Search Force 13 on those. Um, the Facebook and Twitter pages will be most updated. Stick around th those. Um, you can also follow me on Skype, or add me rather, at Fool13 on their Tropical Weather Chat, and to engage in our chat room where you can discuss the current situation with fellow storm trackers. We're also going to be live this morning at uh, 2 a.m. UK. UTC, that's very shortly um, from now, uh, that's in uh, 40 minutes, and local time in the Philippines, that'll be 11am, don't miss it, that's all for now.